All right, here we go. This thing should pop up. Moment of true, woo! Here we go. Oh, baby. I've been waiting for this day for a long time and it is finally here. It's irrigation install day. Right there will be a good spot for a head. Ah, basically anywhere is a good spot for a head. <sighs> All right, so what we got here, we are installing our irrigation. I'm gonna show you how to do it. We are using the easiest, also the coolest, most efficient irrigation system I have ever seen. Let's talk about it. So first and foremost, the most important thing about this, call 811, have your utilities marked, it is the law. Next, marking where your heads go is the second most important thing because you want full coverage. I'm using an ear green system. We'll talk about that here in a second and I'll show you all about it. But uh, I've got a head marked here. If you see, uh, there's another stake right over there somewhere. It is marked, it is one line. That's all it is. One zone, one head per zone. There's not a bunch of fingers going off. It's super easy to measure these things out. Uh, check out the quote tool down below in the link. It'll help you map out your entire yard, show you where exactly to place the heads. And it basically does that for you. You'll just take it out here, um, the map out here, and then you'll just kind of confirm where they go. Boom, there's a head. Line will go straight over here. Boom, there's another head. And then there's another head over there. And then there's another head around the corner and there's another one over there. Easy peasy, one line. Don't have a bunch of fingers running off of here that you gotta trench to, that you gotta dig to, that you have to put pipe in for. Way easier, way more efficient, way, way better. So what we're putting in are these ear green heads right here. This is a smart digital sprinkler system. Uh, these things are so cool. But what we have here, um, basically if you cut off this bottom half right here, you have a normal sprinkler other than the pattern that it sprays here. If you can see those pinpoint holes, these things uh, throw out an awesome uh, water pattern. Way better than a normal water pattern because it's gonna be way more accurate and you're not gonna waste water, there's not gonna be a lot of drift. Um, but at the bottom here, you see this big old girl here, uh, she got a big bottom and inside the bottom of here, there is a valve that you would typically find um, somewhere in a valve box um, for a normal sprinkler system. Um, that's going to control a bunch of heads. It's going to control the full zone. Each of these heads has its own valve in here. It also has a flow meter so it knows how much water you're putting out so it can base how long it needs to run for each zone uh, based on the amount of water that it's putting out. So these things are super cool. Not only that, but you can also precisely water your lawn. So you can pick points um, that it waters to in the one cycle, it can change the uh, distance of the throw, the amount that it's throwing, it's so cool. So if you're interested in seeing these or learning more about these, I'll put a link down below. Um, and also, if you use my code that I have linked down below, you can get one free head when you buy one or more heads on a system. So once you have your supplies, you have your heads all marked out and where you need to dig, it's time to start moving some dirt. Using this mini excavator here because it was already here um, it's my dad's and so I don't have to go pay for a rental but it also leaves a bigger gap here not necessary usually but it allows me to show you guys easier how to put this system together so I typically recommend using a trencher to trench the lines out you can rent those usually fairly cheap at the local uh, rental place that is going to give you a perfect three inches and a perfect 12 inches depth and well, from what I have been told, it is hard to give a perfect 12 inches. Three inches on the other hand. It is now time to lay some pipe. The easiest and quickest part about this whole thing probably, trust me, if life was all about laying pipe, things would go a lot, lot quicker. I know. So what we've got here, this is one inch PVC. You can also use poly pipe if that's what you prefer. Just make sure it's one inch. They definitely recommend one inch for the ear green heads. Um, and I just prefer PVC. I think it's easier to work with. Um, and I think it's easier to work on in the future if you have any issues. So we're starting here at the 
Backflow preventer is kind of the center point of the entire system. I like to start here and work my way out. Um, and we've got our glue and our primer. We've also got our fittings. The uh, fittings that you need and the number of each of these fittings is gonna kind of depend on the size of your lawn, the shape of your lawn, the path that you take to run your lines. Um, and so you may need more 45s, you may need more 90s, or you may need more tees. I love a good set of tees. First, the gluing is kind of the most intimidating part, or at least for me it was. Um, make sure you get all your dirt out of there first. You don't want any dirt in your lines or in your fittings. Uh, but the gluing, kind of the most intimidating part about putting sprinklers in at first. But once you do it, it's now, honestly, probably the most satisfying point. You just put your primer on, then you want to put a good amount of this PVC cement on there. Don't let it dry. Take your fitting, put it on there nice and deep like and give it a twist to where you want it to go and hold it on there tight for about 10 to 15 seconds or so so you know that it sets up because this stuff sets up quick. If you don't get it right in the place that you want quick, uh, you're gonna have to cut this off and redo it. Ain't no going back. Good there. So basically that process, what we just did, we glued that fitting on. Um, we're gonna repeat that process. We're gonna put a pipe straight in here. Yep, I just did uh, that motion. Basically that process, what we just did with the primer and the cement to get that fitting on there, we're gonna repeat that for the pipe running out this way. And then we're gonna repeat that process with fittings and pipe all the way around until we get to where we want to go. We are running off of our backflow here, and now we're gonna tee off. We're gonna run a line that way to the backyard. We're gonna run a line that way over our downspout to the front yard. And so all we need to do, we need to cut this right here and put a tee in it so we can run a line that way and run a line this way. So our main line is running down this hill. It's gonna continue on that way to a head down there and then a head over there. But we also have a head over here and that is why we trenched over to that one. Um, and so we need to tee off of this. So basically um, we're gonna line this tee up with our trench. And then I'm basically just gonna cut right in the center of where this pipe will be, which is basically where that uh, dirt mound is. And then we'll put some glue on here and that tee will sit right there in line with our trench. Boom, now that's a three-way done right. So we have all of our pipe ran throughout the entire lawn. Now it's time to hook up our laterals or just our lines to our heads. Now, if you follow Eric Green's instructions, this is super simple. On this main line, all you're gonna do is put a T like this that has threads on the lateral portion. You're gonna hook up your swing arm that comes with your Eric Green heads straight into that, screw it in there with some uh, tape, and then you're just gonna put your head like that. So it will just sit like that. The main line will be running this way. Head will be sitting here. Easy peasy, if that's the way you wanna go. What I have decided to do here is I actually put a standard PVC T that you can put PVC in all three sides. We are gonna run uh, a PVC line off of our lateral towards our head, just like that. I put a ball valve to a uh, PVC on one side, threaded on the other side, just like that T is, so I can screw our swing arm on that. And then that right there is how our head and our lateral is gonna look. Here's our main line running off of here that we have installed in the ground. And so all this is gonna allow us to do is put this in the ground, just like that. We can coil our excess wire up around this. Inside, 
of that valve box. Now this will be buried under the ground. We'll have four to six inches of soil on top of this and then the grass will be growing up here. So you will never see it, never know it's there um, unless it comes time to work on a head. Now at some point, you're gonna have to work on the heads. Just inevitable. You put irrigation in, it doesn't matter what you're doing, what irrigation system you're doing, you're gonna have an issue at some point. And so what this allows us to do is put this in the ground. You can actually shut the valve off to the head um, so it doesn't affect your whole system and you can work on this head right here while the rest of your system is still good to go. If you don't put this in, you're gonna have to shut the whole system down, blow it out um, until you get this head fixed. So put one of these on each head and uh, it makes your life way easier down the road. Once you have all the lines ran to where the heads are gonna go, before you put the heads on, you gotta turn on the system, flush out the lines, because you don't want any debris or any dirt in these lines to get it in the heads. That would be bad. Flush the system out. So after we flush out the lines, it is time to add our sprinkler heads to our lines. This is just a quick twist. Don't use any tools, hand tight only. Twist them on there and we'll be good to go. So these wires here, they're just plug and play. You don't have to do any splicing or any sort of finagling. Just plug them in. It's got arrows that show you exactly where to plug them in. Mm, that's nice. And so as you see here, it just shows you exactly which way to go to the controller. It's got an arrow there that says controller. Pretty hard to screw it up. And then that goes right into the head. It's already built in there. Pretty easy peasy. So once you have all the wire ran to every head, the wire is already pre-connected to the controller. You're just gonna mount the controller on the wall somewhere where you have power, and uh, you're gonna plug the cords or the wire that you ran from each head back into the controller. Super simple. Check each head, make sure that it is connecting and that uh, it'll take you through a calibration process. It's super simple, it does everything on its own. And then once you have no leaks, the head's all connected, the wire's all connected, everything's good to go, it is time to start backfilling all this dirt back in the holes. I have uh, backfilled with a rake on a couple different systems that I've installed before, and uh, I feel like I'm cheating here with this, but I'll take it. Next step here, other than smoothing out the dirt here to get ready for grass seed, these things are programmable. You actually set the watering pattern or the shape that it waters. So it'll water right along this rock wall and not spray the rock wall or over the rock wall and water up to the house, but it won't spray the house because we set that zone. So if you're interested in seeing that, that is gonna be a separate video. Hit the subscribe button down below to follow along on that process. And uh, if you're interested in checking out these air green heads, I will leave a link down below. 